Social media, when it comes to relationships, it can be tricky. Yes. It can be tricky. But there's also some good resources that can come out of viewing things on social media. Mm -hmm. But there's also some bad. And with that said, let's talk about it. I know that there are definitely pros and cons when it comes to social media and the effects that it has on relationships. Like it can be a a real thing out here. Right. But one thing that I do like is that um, it does provide a lot of resources. Like if you are feel like you're struggling in a certain area of your relationship or there's some challenges that that come your way, and you're not really sure how to address it. There's like social media pages for like a lot of stuff, like almost not. I'm not going to say anything. But there's a lot of good content out there and you can use social media as a resource to help you improve in certain areas. So if you feel like communication is is an issue or you feel like "Ah, I'm really struggling with, you know, just dealing with certain trauma and it's affecting my relationship. There's so many pages out there that you can go to and they can provide you with resources to kind of improve. So that's one thing that that I that I do like about it. But. Now get back. Now get to the nitty gritty. But on the flip side, on the flip. <laughs> on the flip side, you know, there are a lot of challenges with social media. You know, and the effects that it can have on one your relationship that you, your relationship that you're in, or if you're dating and you want to get into a relationship. So let's dive into that. You shouldn't be comparing yourself yeah. with anybody. Yeah. Anyways, you run your own race. Yeah. I think that's first and foremost. Mm-hmm. Whether it's another couple or if it's another individual Mm -hmm. but i think nowadays we look at social media and we look at these influencers and we think oh man i want to be like them like that's the blueprint for success yeah or or that's the blueprint type of relationship that i want to have and of course like all relationships have their challenges at one point Mm -hmm. you know um, it's nothing wrong with getting inspiration right. from, you know, from a couple or something that you see like, Oh, I really like what they're doing there. Like, that's awesome. Maybe that's something I may want to incorporate, but you don't want to use it as the blueprint because like you said, everybody's running their own race and we're only seeing a fragment of the relationship. So the moral of the story that we want to drive home is that no relationship is perfect. Mm-hmm. So even if you might think, on social media that you're looking at a perfect couple or a perfect person that doesn't exist. Like even with it, when it comes to us, we have a good relationship and we've been together for a long time. We go through our challenges. We go through the ups and downs of being in a relationship and that's called life. That's called mm-hmm. being in a relationship. That's called lifelong partners. Mm-hmm. So not every day is going to be rainbows and sunshine, Yeah, but not every day is going, not every day should be storms and gloom either yeah yeah but you take the good the bad you balance it out and you realize man like i have something good that i want to continue to have something Mm -hmm. good with Mm -hmm. my spouse with my partner yeah Yeah. and i think it's it's whenever you feel maybe pressure by what you see on social media because you know it does happen for some people um if you do feel pressured i think it's very important to maybe do a little bit of reflecting and i'm not saying like oh reflect on you know yourself or you must be going through something no not at all it's more so like self-reflection of like all the good that you have in your relationship the why that's driving your relationship the 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 values that you share with your partner things that you enjoy about your partner how do you guys make each other better how do you complement each other i think those are great things and maybe it may have you reflect on like, okay, maybe this isn't the person for me. There are a lot of beautiful, healthy, great relationships out there. Yeah. And the last thing you want is to have social media maybe taint that a little bit or take away from it because it you never, may feel like you're not doing enough. Or Yeah, it should never mm-hmm. get to the point or it, you should never feel that your relationship is never good enough because you're looking at somebody else's. And yeah. it's the same thing. It's not even just about relationships. It's about just individuality Mm -hmm. and making sure that you're running your own race. Mm -hmm. You know, I've said that a couple of times because I think that really drives home the point that it's not about you looking back or looking forward at Mm -hmm. the next person. It's about you focusing on your own goals, your Mm -hmm. own aspirations in life. So using social media to influence you in positive ways can be beneficial Mm -hmm. for sure. 
because it influences you to to better yourselves, better mm -hmm. your circumstances, even better your relationships. But influence can also be a deterrent and can be bad as well if you're comparing yourself in a way that is making you feel less than. You don't ever want to yeah. feel like that and don't yeah. don't put yourself in that box. Because you're enough, you know, and you should be enough in your relationship. Mm -hmm. You should be you're enough as a person, your own individuality. And so, yeah, like you said, um, it's nothing wrong with getting inspiration. Like we have <clears throat> some great friends and they are in beautiful relationships and we pull and get inspiration from them. But we're never thinking like, why aren't we just like them? You know, they may have some things that we really enjoy and we're like, we love that dynamic right. between y'all two. Right. And like, that is awesome for y'all. Yeah. Or, oh, maybe we should, you know, kind of pull influence or inspiration from that. But we're not saying like, oh, well, our relationship, something's not right here because we yeah. are not like that couple. Right. You know, so I think that if you just understand that your your relationship has a lot of beauty in its own and you probably be surprised a lot of people that's just like looking at y'all from afar like, wow. Right. Look at them. I can pull some inspiration from them. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Is this something that you feel personally that affects you? I love to see couples like just succeeding, succeeding right. and really like showcasing their love for one another. Yeah. For me, it's more so like, oh, that's beautiful. Like, I love to see it. Yeah. Like, it's more so like, I love to see it. Look at these couples out here. Yeah. So, you know, just thriving. So the moral of the story is that Social media can have good and bad effects, mm -hmm. but don't focus so much on the bad effects that are going to steer you in a wrong direction or, or have you thinking, man, I wish I could be more or I could do more or my relationship could be like somebody else's. Mm -hmm. So the good stuff, the good aspects of social media and seeing other people is that you can take bits and pieces that's going to work in your life and in work in your circumstances mm -hmm. that help you mm -hmm. so this is just another conversation that we're gonna have mm -hmm. and that we're hoping that you get value from my name is shane i'm jen and this is humble beginnings to winning bye enjoy the journey